There are a lot of things that guns can be used for that are not terrorism, of course, and there are a lot of things that are terrorism, of course, that can be done without guns. Uh, but here, where they overlap, there's been a lot of news lately. For example, the terrorists, as in the ones you are thinking of, as in Al-Qaeda Central, uh, they've put out a new video, a really long one. It's nearly two hours long, the world's most boring Al-Qaeda feature-length film. In it, Al-Qaeda HQ advises its sympathizers to get out there on their own. The idea is Al-Qaeda is not going to come to you with a ready-made plot, Mr. Terrorist wannabe. You've got to do it yourself. It goes through a decades-long list of pseudo-lone wolf terrorist attacks and describes and praises each of them, from assassinations to the first, atta uh, first attack on the World Trade Center to Nidal Hassan, the Fort Hood shooter. Adam Gadan, who is sometimes known as Azam the American, or as we like to call him on this show, Adam the Goat Farm Dork, the guy who grew up loving death metal on a goat farm in California who now does these videos for Al-Qaeda. Uh, at one point in this new video, he specifically addresses Al-Qaeda sympathizers, sympathizers in the United States. He tells them they are perfectly placed to do major damage to al-Qaeda's enemies, that if you are in the United States, he says, you are not only close to good terrorist targets, you also, he says, have great terrorist resources at your disposal by virtue of the fact that you are in America. Uh, you can't see him here, but what you're here, he'll hear, uh, hear here is his voice. Let's take America as an example. America is absolutely awash with easily obtainable firearms. Now, I, I could continue to play the sound of him explaining his point. You will forgive me if I cannot quite stomach that. Um, I will quote him for you. He says, you can go down at a gun show at the local convention center and come away with a fully automatic assault rifle without a background check, and most likely without having to show an identification card. So what are you waiting for? Actually, you're not going to believe that he actually says that last part in the Al-Qaeda video. So here, I will prove it. So what are you waiting for? So what are you... Truth be told, uh, getting a fully automatic assault rifle is going to be hard, even at a gun show. Uh, Semi-automatic, no problem, but fully automatic, kind of a problem. Uh, and you do generally have to show an identification card, even at a gun show. But what he says about not needing a background check, that's true. So no background check? No. That's good, because I probably couldn't pass it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't have to go for it. They have to prove Arizona residency is all I need. All right. How's that? That's me. That's Arizona, right? All I need. Video from Mayors Against Illegal Guns showing people buying guns at gun shows not only after not passing a background check, but after telling the seller they couldn't pass one. There's a bill in Congress to make it so you can't buy guns at a gun show without a background check anymore. It was proposed by Carolyn McCarthy, Democratic Congresswoman of New York. That bill has yet to get out of committee. Even harder to believe than that, I submit, is the fact that if you have been put on the terrorist watch list by the United States of America, you may not be able to board a commercial flight in this country. After all, you're on the terrorist watch list. But you can legally still buy guns. Last year, almost 250 people on the terrorist watch list in this country legally purchased guns. They didn't sneak around or buy them on the black market. No, 247 people whose names are on the terrorist watch list bought guns in America because that's legal. A Democratic congressman, Mike Quigley of Illinois, has proposed making it so people on the terrorist watch list can't buy guns. His proposal was defeated along party lines last month. Every Republican on the committee voting to keep letting people on the terrorist watch list buy guns. Also, you're, a, you're, you're not sleeping right now. If you pinch yourself, you will find that this is real. You are not dreaming. Seriously. Joining us now is Congresswoman Carolyn McCarthy, Democrat of New York. Congresswoman McCarthy, it is nice to see you again. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Rachel, for having me. Uh, what's your reaction to that Al-Qaeda video uh, urging Al-Qaeda sympathizers to take advantage of weak background checks at gun shows? You know, Rachel, I've been talking about this for years, ever since, unfortunately, 9-11, uh, that when we have terrorists uh, trying to come into this country, we have terrorists probably in this country already, and yet we're going to be allowing them to go and buy guns in a gun show. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. When you think about it, as you had mentioned, that you can't get onto a plane if you're on the terrorist watch list, but you can go certainly uh, go and buy a gun. It doesn't make any sense at all, but I don't think the American people actually realize that how crazy uh, some uh, uh, members in the House and the Senate uh, will go so far to make sure that people can get away with doing this. I think that's what's wrong. 
Do you think that this video, though, could change people's perspectives on Capitol Hill? I mean, the NRA hasn't want to close the gun show loophole, but it, I mean, it's hard for me to believe that the NRA is a bigger motivator on Capitol Hill than Al Qaeda. Well, I'm hoping that uh, watching this, uh, well, they'll certainly realize we are dealing with a potential threat. And again, to be very honest with you, uh, any law-abiding citizen or anybody that is considered uh, mentally stable are still going to be able to buy their guns. But we are trying to stop those that shouldn't be buying guns. And I think that has always been the goal. Take the guns away as far as those that shouldn't have them. Uh, the NRA, I hope, is listening to this, have seen these tapes, because it is a real threat. It's a homeland security threat for this country and for all Americans. I know that since the wake of the Tucson massacre, the Gabby Giffords assassination attempt, you have been trying to get those high capacity ammunition clips that used to be banned, uh, banned once again. One of those, of course, was used in that shooting. How is that legislation going? What's the status? Well, again, we're still collecting uh, uh, signatures, but we still have not gotten, uh, unfortunately, one Republican. It's almost like a message has been sent out uh, to all members of Congress from uh, the Republican leadership that we're not going to have anybody sign on to any gun leadership, and uh, obviously because I, I personally feel they're going to, uh, they're afraid to offend the uh, NRA. But when you have common sense, common sense legislation, uh, w taking away the large cl uh, magazine clips, the majority of Americans in this country ap absolutely agree with me. When you say let's everybody go through a background check, everybody goes, that's common sense. Why not? It only takes a few seconds. New York Congresswoman Carolyn McCarthy, thanks very much for your time tonight. I really appreciate it. Well, I just want to say one thing sure. quickly. Uh, gun checks do save lives. And if people will go on to a website to sign up for a petition, hopefully we can mem uh, move members of, co of Congress to really get this done. Carolyn McCarthy, thank you again. Thank you. We'll be right back.